It's just kind of crazy. You go into your freshman year thinking that you have the entirety of your life to, to go play sports and whatnot, but it's truly only four years. And now that that time is coming to an end, it's, it's emotional and, and sad. And, I mean, you look back on all the good times that you had and, and you think this isn't going to happen again, but at the same time, you're also glad that it did happen. So um, it's kind of a, a mix of emotions because you're happy that you've had the experience that you have, but at the same time, you, you want to continue playing and you're upset that, I mean, upset that it's coming to an end. I'm pretty sad. It sucks that we didn't make playoffs, but I mean, a lot of the people that you get to know over these years, you might never see again, and it's just sad. You might never play baseball again. Obviously, I want to play like intramural in college, but even if that doesn't happen, it's just going to be sad looking back on it. It's kind of surreal because I remember being like a sophomore, and I'm like, oh, like I have three years of this, like I'm fine. And Last year it was my first time in the Memorial Day tournament. I was like, oh, like this is gonna be great. And then now it's here, and these are my last games. And it's kind of weird not to put on a Wilmington jersey after this weekend. It was fun to be able to be a part of it. I mean, you know, it stinks, but like, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I made the best of it the past four years. Just you know, 12 seasons of sports. It's actually 13 because we had four my sophomore year. So. You know, it was, a, it was a lot going on, and I feel like I definitely made the best of it with every practice and every game. And I don't remember taking advantage of anything, so I feel like I'm kind of content with myself and how the rest of these next two games are going to be. I really like playing with them all. They're some of my best friends. We've all grown up together, played together since we were nine years old. So it's going to be sad seeing that come to an end, like not being able to play with them ever again, but it's going to be fun. I mean, I love all of them. They're they're just great players and great people, and um, I've gotten to know them, whether it be through the last couple of years of baseball or throughout the entirety of my life. I think over the years, none of the people on this team, uh, I've known Eber for a while, but I think I got to know a lot of them a lot better, and I'm really happy that I got to know them a lot better, because fun group of kids. Fun. I would say it was a good experience, and all the people that I've seen over the years, they just made it a lot better. We all literally played on the same teams from T-ball up until now. We've all been super close ever since we were little. Like I remember when I was younger, I'd be friends with Patrick through baseball, and him and Mikey are neighbors, so I was best friends with them too. And then Jacob was lived right near them too, he would come by. And we started getting closer with Gooch as the years go by, and it's just, it's great being able to make these friends it's, I don't even see them as teammates anymore. I see, just see them as a bunch of my friends. I'm a bench player, so I lose my voice every day. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure people are like, what the, what the hell is this guy doing? Because I'm, like, screaming like a velociraptor. Oh, <laughs> the fans are the, or are those fans? Hey, oh, you, the players just... that I'm screaming in, like, this is their ear next to me, and I'm screaming right in their ear. Right in their ear. Yeah. So you just, you're just you just yelling say? at your teammates, you yeah. You hyping them up? I was like, let's go. But oh. Me and you, Brett, have similar roles in our sports. Right. We just we develop to become team first players and we, we show up every day, we work hard and you know, we be there for our teammates and just show our coaches that we care, even though, you know, it's hurting us that we're not out there. You yeah. know? I so. get to pinch run though. <laughs> oh every What's every six run? games. Yeah, for those who don't oh, know, what nice. is that? I don't know. So yeah. somebody gets a hit and say somebody's injured, yeah. so they'll just have somebody pinch run for that person. Mm -hmm. So the other day I pinch for. ran for Balter. Oh, that's sure. cool. I was going to, but then there was an out. Dang it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you get to? Uh, home. I was literally at home. Wait, you got... Like, I oh. literally stepped on home, but there was a force out, so... Oh, yeah. that's horrible. Oh, that's, that's rough. Have you scored? Or um, as a pinch runner? I have not played that much in my time <laughs> with baseball. 
So the answer is no. Okay. The answer <laughs> is no. My name is Brett Gallucci. I'm a senior and I play left field. What is your, what do you feel like your role on the team has been? Um, so I don't play, obviously, but I think that my role on the team is just to support other people. He has fun no matter what he's doing. Like a lot of kids I feel like would be more down about like not playing, but he just like enjoys himself, enjoys being around everyone. He's always bringing people up when they're up and you know, he's, al he's always with the team, always wants to hang out with us. He never would just like, he always feels like he's a part of it too, which is great because we all want him to be a part of it. Somebody messes up, I just look and I'm just like, hey, it was a good try. And yeah, I just try to be very supportive. I think it shows a lot about his character. It's the way he conducts himself at every game in the dugout, cheering on everyone no matter what. Even when we get down, you can always hear him in the dugout cheering the guys on. And he's always coming out to hang with us after games, after practice, always with us. Every team needs to have a Brett Gallucci on their team because he's always making jokes. He's a great guy. He helped me when I was injured because he's just making jokes on the bench. How would you describe your four years of high school ball? Fun. I would say it was a good experience. And all the people that I've seen over the years, they just made it a lot better. He's definitely one of the most persistent people that I know. He's got so much heart. And when it comes to, to the team aspect, he's, he's such a great um, teammate. He's always picking people up. And he really um, kind of leads our like, off-the-field um, team. Like he's, he's usually coordinating team dinners or um, going out and getting food or, or whatnot. And uh, he really helps unite the team in, in that way. My dad really inspired me to play. He wasn't the best athlete. It wasn't an awful one, but my grandfather, my mom, all of her siblings were really good baseball players. My brothers were both great. I thought I'd just get into it. And I don't think I'm an awful player, but I think even just getting a feel of the game is just really important to me. He was on my brother's team in the summer, and I, I just remembered him staying after the game for about two hours making my dad hit him fly balls. I think last year when I made JV, I was thinking about quitting, but Jim Boyle really helped me understand that baseball is a part of my life and that's how I want to keep it. And this year I felt the same way. I think I wanted to keep pursuing my baseball career even if it doesn't involve me in it. Um, I think it's cool. I mean, it's going to be fun to see him play. It's been great to be hanging out with him for the past four years, and now getting to see, getting to play with him again, it's going to be it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm happy for him because, like, as a senior, you think you're going to play all the time, and he only got a couple opportunities here and there. But um, he's been a great teammate in the dugout, off the field, and um, now he kind of gets his time to shine this weekend, and it's going to be pretty cool to watch. He's been bringing the energy and spirit all year long, so. It's going to be good to see that out on the field. I think him getting this opportunity to finally get out there for a start um, is definitely great because, because um, he does, definitely deserves it. Um, he's a great player and a great kid, and I think that he'll definitely perform well and uh, prove everybody wrong. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a little nerve-wracking because when you don't play the whole year and then you're just all of a sudden thrown in, I think it's going to be tough. I got some reps in today. I'm hoping I'll be a good hitter. You never know though, but even if I do bad, get a little bit of time on the field. Now it's time to introduce our seniors.
First player, number nine, Brett Gallucci. Brett is escorted by his parents, Lori and Mark Gallucci. This is Brett's first year playing varsity baseball, and his future plans are attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. For second senior, number two, Brett Ebert. Escorted by his parents, Kim and Todd, and brother and sister. Brett spent two years playing varsity baseball here at Wilmington High School. His future plans are attending University of Massachusetts Lowell. Here's the captain, number four, Mike Lee Parents, Jill and Mike Montefiore. You gotta wait for your parents, Mike. Mike has played two years of varsity baseball. His future plans are playing baseball at Eastern Nazarene College. The next senior, number 13, Patrick Stokes, also a captain. Patrick is escorted by his parents, Kristen and Chuck. Stokes has played two years of varsity baseball and his future plans are at University of Massachusetts Amherst. And our final senior, number three, Captain Jacob Roke, escorted by his parents, Judy and Sean, and his brothers, Matthew and Grayson. Jacob is a three-year varsity player. He plans to do a postgrad year at Cushing Academy playing baseball. Brett Ebert. I'm a senior and I played right field and everywhere. Uh, as soon as I could start playing baseball, I, did, I think I actually started a year before I was supposed to start playing baseball. My dad always liked baseball and I think that was one of the few sports my mom would like was like all on board for letting him have me play and so like we signed up for t-ball and I've just I fell in love with it ever since. My freshman year I was supposed to play lacrosse but then COVID happened. We didn't have a spring season. But then that summer, I got a text from Patrick Stokes' dad saying they needed numbers for a summer baseball team. Figured we'd get all the friends back together. Started playing with them. And I didn't really play much. I played horrible, actually, when I did play. But it was so much fun to be around these kids again that I just didn't want to give it up. And it convinced me to go back to baseball and keep playing. Wherever he is, he's always just one of the most liked people around he's such a funny and, and great guy and I've 
been lucky enough to grow up as friends with them and uh, I've been his friend for a long time now. Brett's one of my closest friends. We've been friends since we were very little and he's always a good guy to have on the field, whether it's in the dugout, like cheering on the guys or on the field playing. He's always ready to go do whatever the coach needs. When it comes to baseball, I know this year it was probably a little frustrating for him at the beginning of the season because he, he had his injury and he was, he was in and out of physical therapy and didn't ha really have a, a great spot to or to solidify himself in the lineup. But I think he really showed himself as a fielder throughout the season because he started out in the outfield and then as soon as he's got his opportunity in the infield, he's really shined since then. I don't think he's made an error. I, I know at the beginning he wasn't very happy with like all like the minutes he was getting and he's kind of going back and forth like is it really worth it like I was like dude like just trust it like you're gonna get in like you're a senior you're gonna play blah 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 and then I went to McManus I was like hey like he kept putting him in the outfit I was like I know Brett doesn't like the outfit I was like coach like try him like third base second base like just see how it does so the next day of practice he threw him at second and Brett did pretty good and then kind of just kept going from there and now he's starting at second and we can play together. Him being on the field and, and always being there at second is, is so good because he's such an athletic kid and he's such a solid player over there at second and he really just holds the team together in, in many ways because he's always loud. He's always He always knows when to crack a joke and, um, and he's really just a, a lighthearted, fun kid to, to have around but he can, he'll be serious when you need him to be and, and he's a great player. People take a crazy in there, everybody shaking, you can stay in the line, stay in the line, stay in the line, stay in the line, stay in the line. Whew, sorry, me out. Ooh, that was gross. Backing that up, I was getting there. That crazy range. Thank you. Oh. Home run. Now batting number two, Brett Ebert. Come on. Four, four, four. Keep it in front. There you go. Hey, let's go, Harps. Me, me, me. I'm so sweaty. Hey, bust the move. Just bust the move. Yeah, right? <laughs> She's gonna move the shoulders. The ladies love it. The ladies love it. Hey, what up, Double Deuce? Let's go, Twos. Runner! Thank you. 
uga 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 shaka uga 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 shaka uga 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 shaka uga uga Last time putting this W on your shirt and taking the field for this program. I feel like it's gonna be bittersweet because I feel like we're gonna cap it off really good with two wins, but then knowing like I'm not gonna play on that field again is kind of like hard to grasp right now. And honestly, I'm not ready for it. I might cry. <laughs> um, I I don't think I'm going to force it, but it might just come out. Uh, definitely gonna be a little bit sad about it, you know, not being able to play with them. My some of my best friends again, but that's how it is. I don't even know how to describe it. It's gonna be sad for sure, but it's also gonna be like, wow, like, look at what I did these past years. Like, I've done so much, I've played so many sports, I've done everything I could have wanted to do. And now I get to just look back on it and see how much fun I've had. go in treating them like 
regular games go in, do our job, but I think afterwards is when it's gonna feel really different just being over. Um, definitely not the way any of us expected it. We kind of expected to, uh, you know, roll into this tournament and kind of just have fun and then think about the state tournament after, but as Coach McManus said, you sleep in the bed you make, so we're just gonna make the most of these last two games and then kind of go out on a high note. It's disappointing that we didn't get to where we wanted to, but I think that uh, when you look at every single player on the team, um, I love how everybody's progressed. And while we didn't win 10 games or more like we wanted to, um, I still see it a lot in a lot of parts as a, as a success because we've had many games which we could have won. Um, we've played really well this year. I think we uh, a couple of balls hit here and there, a couple of plays gone differently, it'd be, we would definitely be in a different position, but I think that it's definitely a great club and um, definitely great great ball players on this team, and um, and I'd love to see how, how the team's going to do next year, especially those guys who are uh, going to be coming up and, and developing through the program. It's Ryan Watson from WCTV. I'm here with Brett Gallucci, senior for the Longtime School baseball team. Brett, how do you feel that your baseball career is officially over? Uh, it's weird. Yep. It's a little different. I yeah. think it'll take some time to adjust to it. How do you think the team closed out the season today? I think it was perfect. You know, a little comeback win down 4 nothing after the first inning, come back 5-4, you know. I mean, it shows the adversity we come back from every day. Had a lot of fun out here today playing, you know. Kind of sad to be finished with it, but a lot of things in the future, so looking forward to them. Jake, how does it feel to play your last baseball game with Wilmington today? Um, kind of hasn't settled yet. It's kind of surreal, but it's going to hit me in a little bit. How does it feel to play your last baseball game today? Um, I mean, it's it's so emotional, but it's incredible at the same time. Um, I've been playing this game for 15 years, um, so knowing that it's all coming to end today on a on a win and tournament win, it's, it's a great feeling, but at the same time, it's, it's really emotional knowing I'll never be able to step on this field again.